Hi guys, welcome back to our channel. Yo. This is me, Rima. And my name is Jaylee. And Jaylee and I have been on this three-parter. This is the third part of this video sequence that you'll probably see us. And I think we'll try to put this in order so that people can watch it together. Uh, so basically, this is about Kantara. So we have been exploring Kantara from multiple perspectives, from a cinematic perspective, from a spiritual, cultural perspective. So the first part of this uh, video when it comes out or this trilogy that we are creating when it comes out is going to be me and Jaylee checking out the Ranveer show, a clip from the Ranveer show where an actual Tantra specialist. So for those of you who know what Tantra is, maybe you could put it down in the comments below for everybody else, but it's a spiritual practice uh, in Hinduism, uh, a devotional or spiritual practice. And um, we saw that interview clip where the Tantra specialist or, uh, you know, the, the individual said that the Kantara climax scene was actually a real scene. So it was not mm -hmm. acting in his opinion. And he said that Rishabh Shetty, the actor director, was actually possessed by the divine or deity. And he had undergone some uh, spiritual, uh, I guess, practices to kind of invoke that. Um, so we saw that, but it was a fascinating clip. The second thing we saw, we just saw uh, before we were recording this video was the actual scene from Kantara. And we were in awe. Um, obviously we raised a few points about uh, what we thought of it. And, uh, you know, just based on first look um, and you can check that out, that reaction out. So that should probably be out too. And now we're doing an interview because now we're very curious. So we've seen yeah. the scene. We're in awe. We now know a little bit of the backstory. Now we want to know Rishabh Shetty, what happened in the scene? Um, how did he do it? Um, and was there some level of uh, maybe, you know, whatever spiritual practices involved? We'll see if he talks about that in this video. But Powerful yeah, let's, stuff. I know. Let's check it out. One, two, three, go. Rishabh Shetty, today we are going to Looking very different <laughs> from what yeah. we saw him. The first scene is a pre-climax fight sequence. Shiva is in jail. What happened in that time? There was a trance. Two people. One person is called Madhya Vachari. So these are some other scenes from the movie as well. Dot connect. So what happened in that time? So what is happening now? What is the thought process? What is the realization? All of them, how high they are, they need to get a high to see. They need to get a high to see. They need to get a high to see. They need to get a high to feel. They need to get a high to feel. They need to get a high to feel. That's why I and Arvind decided that they need to get a high to feel. Each and every dialogue, we are short. There is a dialogue in Canada, in Hindi, I don't know. He said, I'm not going to get a high to feel. So that's a dialogue. That's why I said that, मैं कैसे जा रहा हूँ ऐसे कैमरा लेके आओ करके सो ये शॉट लेना बहुत मुश्किल था मतलब वो मेरे साथ ही आना चाहिए और कुछ इक्विपमेंट सिर्फ गिम्बल हाथ में रख के हम लोग किए वो वही बोल रहा था जैसे मैं एक रॉकस्टार है हमारा गिम्बल ऑपरेटर में उसके बाद जो प्रेशर आया क्योंकि पूरे रात हम लोग शूट कर रहे फुल नाइट एंड एक डीप जगह है मतलब रेन एफर्ट के लिए पानी चाहिए था पहले दिन शूट कर रहे हम लोग टू ओ क्लॉक जो दो टैंकर पानी लेके आए थे वो पूरा खत्म हो गया वो जो हम लोग शूट कर रहे थे मेरा गांव से थोड़ा इस तरफ था वो उधर एक वेल था उन लोगों से बात करके उधर एक मोटर लगा के हम लोग यू सी आर ड्रिंकिंग वाटर फॉर दिस रेन माय गॉड डेज वी आर सपोज्ड टू शूट विदिन फोर डेज वो फाइट सीक्वेंस और सीन्स हम लोग इतने शूट किए पूरे रात उधर से पानी लेके आ रहे शूट कर रहे शूट कर रहे लास्ट शॉट लिया उस समय एक मेरा लोकल कोऑर्डिनेटर ने मैसेज दिया है कि वो वेल में पानी खत्म हो गया कल। Oh my gosh। नाइट में रहता है वो पहला सीक्वेंस है हमारा जो बजट किया था एक सीक्वेंस में सात दिन में डबल हो गया। Oh my gosh। इसमें भी ये फाइट शूट करने से उस समय एक शोल्डर डिस्लोकेट हुआ था। तो उसके बाद उसको भी हम लोग स्प्रे की डालके मतलब किधर भी वो एक लग्जरी नहीं था कि हम अदर ओके अभी हीरो को कुछ पेन हुआ है कुछ डैमेज हुआ है शूट खत्म करते हैं खुद में डायरेक्टर हूँ सीक्वेंस भी खत्म करना है और एक्ट भी करना है तो ऐसा एक प्रेशर था टेरिबल विद अ डिसलोकेटेड शोल्डर सी जो शिवा किधर किधर गलत करता है गलत रास्ते पे जाता है तो उसका बाप या उसका एक एक स्पिरिट एक मैसेज जैसा उसको अलर्ट करते ही जाता है और फर्स्ट हाफ में 
ज्यादा ड्रीम लगता है तो सेकेंड हाफ में वो रियलिटी में आएगा सो so, वो हम लोग स्पेशली जेल सीक्वेंस में ये अंदर रहेगा तो समय गुरुआ का जो डेथ होने के बाद एक्सप्रेशन था उसका जो अपियरेंस था जो सीक्वेंस खत्म किए उसी दिन बहुत सारे लोग एडिट देख के बहुत डर गए थे उधर टीम में और ऐसे बहुत सारे सीक्वेंसेस जो अच्छुत कुमार ने एक उनको लेके आता हूँ मैं इंक्रोचमेंट का फाइट सीक्वेंस के बाद रात जाते हैं उसको मैं टॉर्च दिखा के रास्ते में लेके जाता हूँ वो जाने के बाद वेट कर रहा हूँ मैं वो शूट करने समय में दस रोस्टम लगाए थे पूरे फॉरेस्ट को हम लोग जो अरविंद ने इतना लाइट दिन में करके रात को सिर्फ लाइट टेस्ट किया हम लोगों ने शूट करने के बाद हम डिस्कस किए थे ऐसा एक जम्प स्केर कैसे करते करके सो नॉर्मली जो किधर से साउंड आया सो उधर से एक कैरेक्टर आता है वो एक गेसिंग रहता है हम लोग उल्टा कर देते करके दैट वाज द आइडिया सो हम पीछे से लेके आते हैं करके वो भी हम लोग दूसरे डिफरेंट डिफरेंट टाइम में शूट किए वो सीक्वेंस एक बार शूट किया बाद जो अच्छी तरह और मैं भाग जाता हूँ रविचंद्रेटमेंट दिया है लास्ट बीस मिनट का नहीं है फिल्म है पहला बीस मिनट का है जो उधर क्या सेट करता है वो आपको अनाउंस करेगा करके वो बहुत बहुत अच्छा अनलाइज किए थे वो क्लाइमैक्स हम लोग शूट करने समय में हम लोग सिर्फ एक्शन सीक्वेंस नहीं होना चाहिए एक कहानी चाहिए जो एक्शन सीक्वेंस शुरू हुआ बहुत सारे जो गाँव वाले थे सब मेरा गाँव वाले थे उन लोगों को फिल्म के बारे में शूटिंग के बारे में पता नहीं है बोला इन लोगों को रिहर्सल दे दो लास्ट हम लोग गुलीगा का सीक्वेंस है दैव का एक पोर्शन था उधर आने से पहले जो एक फायर फायर सीक्वेंस था मतलब फायर स्टिक लेके मुझे सी दीस पार्ट्स या मारते लोग या मुझे पूरा मार मार के मार मार के पूरा ओ हि स्क्रैचेस ऑल ओवर का जो पूरा स्क्रैचेस हुआ था पूरा बर्न हो गया था बबल्स पूरा आया था अब ये फिक्स किया और कुछ बॉडी डबल डाला तो वो रियल नहीं लगेगा और ज्यादा टाइम भी नहीं ले सकते हम लोग सो मुझे भी इतना पेशेंस जा रहा था ही वाज लाइक जस्ट हिट मी गुस्सा आ रहा है सच में कुछ किसी ने मिला तो मार देता था मैं इतना फिल्म में दिखा रहा है मतलब एक्शन सीक्वेंस जो पूरी से पहले वो ज्यादा रियल ही था मतलब उसके बाद घर गया सो भी नहीं सकता था आराम से मतलब इतना पेन हो रहा था इतना पूरा ये किया था उसके बाद भी एक डर था कि हम लोग गुड़ी का जो सीक्वेंस है उसमें पूरा शर्ट निकालता है सिर्फ लुंगी में मैं हूँ सो वो बबल्स पूरा ओपन हो गया लेकिन वो पेन भी भूल गया मैं शूटिंग जो दिन इतना ज्यादा जा रहा है वही दिमाग में था मुझे इतना फ्रस्ट्रेशन में था मैं प्लान फॉर फाइव डेज हम लोग थर्टीन डेज लिए ये सिर्फ क्लाइमैक्स शूट करने के लिए लेकिन उसके बाद शूट खत्म हो गया पोस्ट प्रोडक्शन हो गया रिलीज करने समय में हम लोग इतने सारे लोग पूछ रहे कि था कैसा था एक्सपीरियंस उस समय सोचा तो एक दिन हम शूट करने समय में एक इसके बारे में कैसे शूट करते करके हम सोचा तो हम लोग और एक साल ले लेते ये फिल्म करने में थैंक यू सो मच ये कांतारा का सिर्फ तीन चार सीन का ब्रेकडाउन किया हूँ मैं आप कांतारा हिंदी में देख सकते हो स्ट्रीमिंग ऑन नेटफ्लिक्स Okay. All right. So he didn't get into the whole spiritual oh. stuff, I guess. But uh, at least uh, we know, guys, that when we saw the Ranveer show clip, uh, the the tantric expert, or uh, he he was talking about how he had gone into a specific type of fast, and he knew people who may have helped mm-hmm. him. So he didn't obviously go into all that. He was just speaking from a. But I don't know your thoughts, Jaylee, just on basis of what he did share in this oh, video. Oh, holy. Wow, like you don't see that in like western like in all western films I feel like there's yeah. always a stunt person. You right, know? Right. Yeah. <laughs> but he did his own stuff. I mean, there's not always a stunt person. There are definitely yeah, actors yeah. who do their own stunts, but the fact that he like really put his body through like physical pain for this cuz he was like we don't have the time. We don't have the time for a bottle uh, for a body oh, double. God. We don't have the time yeah. for VFX like <sighs> aesthetic dedication. That's insane. Yeah, like the fact that he allowed people to actually beat him up and he had scratches on his back and his body. Yeah. And then he had gone home, he can't sleep because he's in so much incredible pain. And then he comes up and shoots because he has to shoot like we did see that climax scene without a shirt and there are all these blisters and boils in his body and they're like opening up and he's still shooting. 
oh my god that's a different level yeah i'm <laughs> sure a- he was like <laughs> like it had to have fuel fueled that last scene when he oh, when yeah. he yeah uh, turns around on them like that that, that physical pain and frustration I know. he was like he was like i was just mad the whole time I know. It's like I'm just unleashing whatever energy I have. Yeah. So again, he didn't touch on that. Maybe that's not something he wanted to talk about. Maybe there's some other interview that he did talk about it. Uh, Let us know, guys, if you know of him talking about anything related to spirituality or his spiritual practice. Uh, And if you leave it in the comments, maybe me and Jaylee could check it out uh, as part of our BTS, we sometimes do these behind the scene uh, clips as well, reading your comments. So uh, yeah, but dedication right hats off what a what an incredible director and and i think for the amount of work he's put in um well deserved right his success and this movie i think uh he definitely deserves all the accolades all the love uh that he received and guys yeah we know we haven't seen the whole film but just from the bit that we saw i think we are very very impressed and very much uh uh amazed amazed at this this the dedication that went into it Right, right. I think he got to a point where he was like, oh, we spent over 100% of our budget. Yeah. I'm bruised, battered, and ferocious. We got to finish it. (laughs) Like, what's up now? I know. I know. That's incredible. And I think when you wear two hats, I mean, you, Jaylee, as as an actor yourself, like, uh, I'm sure there's so many things you need to keep, be mindful of that if you had just the luxury of being just the actor or just the, I mean, the director's job is always stressful, but when you're both, uh, I think that just heightens your investment and your work and your priorities mm-hmm. and everything, right? Being a director is hard. Like you have to, you yeah. have to make sure everything's going. Like I don't, I don't, and maybe I would just need more experience, but I don't understand how people can be both director and actor. Cause like that, like yeah. that, that's impressive all in itself. Cause, um, I've, I've worked on a lot of like low budget stuff and the director always seems stressed out. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. It's like yeah. you have so many things to look out for. Like you have to keep the continuity. Right. You have to have a shot list. You have to have the lights good. The sound has to be good. You've got yeah. to have production assistants running around helping you you got to make sure there's no boom mic shadows you gotta you gotta be aware of all those things which helps with coming yeah. h- having a good team um right, right and then i feel like as an actor you're focused so much on like your lines and your performance like yeah. you gotta have such a, a focused brain to be able to think of your lines and your performance and everything else while yeah. apparently getting hit with flaming sticks and bleeding oh my god yeah oh, <laughs> oh. My god. yeah no like, he he good job he, he, yeah, he's very impressive and I think inspirational. I, I hope more mm-hmm. people see him and his movie and his interviews because, uh, yeah, definitely something to persevere. And then you can. A small budget film could make it huge like Kantara did. All right, guys. So this was our reaction to Rishabh Shetty's interview with Netflix on the uh, some of the scenes from Kantara. Uh, I know a lot of you have loved this movie, so let us know your thoughts in the comments below. And if you're seeing our faces for the first time, please do subscribe and become part of our beautiful, wonderful, loving AR family. And if you want us to do your exclusive request and give you a shout out in our videos or watch all of our blocked content from YouTube, there is a lot of stuff with YRF, with other amazing videos that you love, uh, or our full-length movie reactions, do check us out on Patreon for just a dollar. Uh, you can get access to all of that, and we will see you next time. Bye. Thanks, guys. Bye.